you guys welcome to my channel now makeup forever launched a few brand new items to the market now i picked up these little guys recently and these are called uh the aqua color paint excel or aqua excel color paint i'm not sure what's the right order but anyways um these retail for 25 dollars guys each now there are 20 shades in total um there are lots of colorful shades and also like um neutral shades and everything there's like this beautiful range of shades present available for purchase now they came in a box like this now the typical black and red makeup forever box and then it says extra long lasting waterproof eyeshadow now i don't think i mentioned these are cream eyeshadows but um the formulation is gel uh because it says makeup gel at the back now uh, there is a short description at the, um, the side of the box let me just quickly read it to you this waterproof shadow glides on effortlessly to bring instant color intensity and this blendable gel cream has a finish that can range from light to medium high coverage and um the skin is visibly smoothed with 3d microspheres that help fill in micro lines and then uh, this formulation is crease proof and extra long lasting and this stays all day long. Now, um, before we get into the actual product and whether this product just holds good to all of these claims, but I just want to show you the packaging and where the product is available. Now, um, this is the actual packaging that it comes in. The, the packaging has the shade the, the eyeshadow color has the corresponding same exact packaging as well so red has red tubes so everything so i i bought like i said there are 20 shades and there are three finishes in total there, there's a matte finish satin finish and then metallic not metallic shimmer finish it says not metallic or foil finish but and i bought four among 20 because like i said these are expensive 25 dollars and and the amount of product that you get here is 4.8 ml that's um 0.16 fluid ounces so that's actually pretty standard i would say for a liquid or a cream eyeshadow because the steeler ones also is almost it's in, it's in fact a little bit less than what Makeup Forever offers. Stila One offers, I think, 0.15 fluid ounces. These are 0.16. And so does um, a Touch and Soul, a Metalist, what's that called? Metalist or uh, something, foil, glitter and foil eyeshadows. They also offer the same, um, not uh, same, it's 0.15 fluid ounces. So Makeup Forever, although it looks tiny, it's a little bit, tiny bit more than what, oops, there you go one, I'll be back they offer a tiny bit more than stila uh the popular i'm just comparing with these with the popular uber popular liquid eyeshadows so anyways so i picked up three mattes because the mattes is where the colorful shadows are at the because the shimmer and the uh, satin finishes are more more of um neutral shades more like a uh, gunmetal then there's a rose gold and beige kind of a thing mattes are the way the most there's a yellow there's a red um like i said i have the red there's an orange there's there are beautiful there's a hot pink then there's like a turquoise which i picked and then it's the like cobalt uh, blue so there are beautiful colors there anyways um this says on the sephora's um uh, product page uh, it says that these are exclusive and new but i don't think these are exclusive to sephora because i did find them on on makeupforever.com so you can uh, definitely purchase them at sephora or makeupforever.com i'd always uh, recommend purchasing at sephora because the return policy is easy and it's hassle free and uh, these are made in france so 25 dollars for 4.8 ml that's 0.16 fluid ounces and um these are for, these can be found at sephora and makeupforever.com and these are made in france now this is just a squeezy tube uh with like a angled tip and then when you you just squeeze the product out now i already have swatches now this is like makeup forever typically does not have uh shadow names so they just have codes which is uh the red is m72 and then you have the turquoise which is a stunning turquoise shade which is m24 and then the purple the purple is m90 there's the purple and 
this blue is kind of a unique blue this now these three are matte finishes the blue is not blue is of a satin finish and the blue is L22 and this is like more of an indigo blue I wouldn't call this an ink blue like uh, you know like a blue ink but it's it has um, it's different I feel and it does have like minute shimmers in this but this is not a shimmery finish I think this is a satin finish but it does have like minute shimmers in it so yeah so those are the four shades that I picked out and I'm really, really impressed. Formulation-wise, I'm so happy about this formulation, guys. These are amazing. Now, they are not streaky at all. Not even the tiniest bit, bit of streakiness is, is present in this formulation, guys. These are amazing. Like I said, like this says at the, at the back, this is a gel formulation. So they're not very liquidy, but at the same, they're, they're not runny, but at the same time, they're not like whipped mousse consistency like. It's not like that. It's like somewhere in between like a gel, like the perfect consistency. They're not streaky. They are crazy pigmented. Now, these two, now these three, the blue, the turquoise and the red are perfect. If, even as, as you like blend it out, they do not shear out at all. You cannot see the, like my skin through the through the eyeshadow of course here you can see because it's too thin but there's not not enough product there but uh, the purple one I must say this is it, it has like a thinner consistency on the thinner side slightly because uh, but the the best thing about it is that it's it it um, it's even you know even even when it's thin it's kind of even it's not streaky so you can definitely layer these as well without any problem but I do not have need to layer this because like I said, it's pretty even and um, it's not streaky. So what I did when I tried out this, this, this particular blue uh, shadow is I just applied it with a shader brush. And then when I, bl uh, and, and I, again, I took a sh blending brush and applied a tiny bit amount to it. And when I blended it out, I did experience a little bit of shearing, shearing out. But the thing is, when it dried down which which is very quick they dried on pretty quickly so you need to work a little bit fast with these i have to tell you guys that they dried on very quickly now when it um dried down it kind of evened itself out so to be honest i did not layer the when i was playing around with this particular purple shadow i didn't layer it at all i just applied one layer on the eyelid and then took a little bit of product and then applied on the crease and then I just left it like that it, it did not look streaky it I, I I didn't see any eyeshadow displaced from my eyelid the entire look looked a pretty even I'm I was very happy with this purple eyeshadow to be honest now these are crazy pigmented like I said so application wise uh, to apply it on the eyelid you need the tiniest bit of amount because like I said these are very freaking pigmented so damn pigmented and so vibrant uh, the the look that i have here is uh, i've used a turquoise shade in the little bit of the eyelid just along the lash a little bit maybe thicker than the uh where i would apply my eyeliner but uh, just wanted to give like a pop of color to my eyelid and then i've used the red shadow to completely blow out in my blow what's a how do i say it I've used it a lot in my crease and also it's come down to my eyelid as well because I wanted the red to like really come through in this in this eye look and just uh, tea and the turquoise shade to just a little, little bit peek through so um to apply it on the eye sh eyelid you don't need a lot of amount of eyeshadow at all and it's very easy you just use a flat shader brush a synth I use a synthetic brush from elf and you just apply it and it goes on smoothly no streaking no it doesn't like it doesn't like um after it dries down it doesn't like crack or anything it's perfect to be honest now when if you want to use this for an entire eye look like i have done you need to use a crease shade right now when you use this to blend out you you actually use up a lot more product than you expect i actually had to go in twice and to for the amount of product that I had to like blow it up in the crease and a tiny bit in the eyelid so I feel when you use these uh, cream eyeshadows to blend out your eyeshadow look you will end up using a lot more product that you than you expect so because there is a, already a little 
this is a tiny tube so I feel uh, you might go through these pretty quickly that's that is actually a that's the only downside if you if I can really think of something that's the only downside to these products I feel when you want to use these to to do a complete eye look to blend out and for, to use some crease use these to do a crease work you will actually end up using a lot more product but um, one important thing I wanted to note is like it says these are crease proof and these are budge proof and I'm, I haven't tested if these are waterproof uh, to be honest but I probably think they might be because they did hold good to all of the claims in the box and the coverage is really really good and um, one important thing is the it says right here in the box like I, uh, I, I did read it out earlier the skin is visibly smooth with 3D microspheres that help fill in micro lines. That is extremely true, guys. Usually, when you when 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 you uh, use cream eyeshadows, they might clump up, or they might crack, and or they might form this uneven layer on top of your eyelids when you use too much, um, and it might look very crusty and not very attractive. But these, no matter how much you layer, I did layer the the turquoise shade twice on both the eyelids and I did not experience any cracking it didn't like look kind of like you know like some it's it's like kind of a crusty uneven it doesn't uh, usually cream eyeshadows when you apply too much layer um, too many layers it that's a real final result that you would get when very impactful eyeshadows they would usually suggest you just apply it once and just leave it at that but these no matter how many layers you do these actually like it says it blurs out your lines your your those, those tiny micro lines that you may have in your eyelids and actually your your eye look looks very much like as if it's been airbrushed in person i'm telling not like if you take a photo and then you airbrush it the way it looks how beautiful and finished it looks that's how it looks in pers in real life when you use these these truly blur out all the imperfections or tiny lines that you may have in your eyelids so yeah i'm really impressed with these guys crazy pigmented the and the colors are do you see how vibrant and beautiful these are these are so so pretty and i'm and i'm i should have picked up more to be honest i, I was kind of skeptical uh, initially so i just picked up the like the most vibrant colors that i was interested in but i think these are really good what else um I think I have all positives for these uh, to be honest the only downside is if you use these uh, to do an entire look if you want to take these colors to the crease and blend it out you may need more amount of product your I had to go in twice with the red shade two times in each lid to actually blow it up completely and form a complete look another downside to it is since these are cream uh, eyeshadows when you use them in the crease especially in the crease you will definitely it, the, these 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 do definitely form that harsh lines so in order to give you that perfect blended out eye look you definitely need an extra uh, um, you know like a powder eyeshadow to blur out the harsh lines that you may have now I do have I haven't done it uh, but I'm just telling you guys I do have like a tiny bit of harsh lines here where I haven't blended uh, blended it out properly but uh, so now I'm just at home today so I didn't do it but if I were to go out I would definitely like um, use like a powder eyeshadow like maybe some, something like a transition shade very similar to my skin tone to use here to blur out these uh, unblended lines so yeah they do do that so um, that I have just two downsides to these eyeshadows it's that um, if you use them in the crease you will actually use up a lot of product and I think you will go through these quickly if you use these in the crease and uh, another thing is they do give uh, leave behind harsh lines unblended harsh lines in, over here in the in the crease so you will definitely need to reach for a powder eyeshadow which is similar to your uh, skin tone or if you want you can use a different color whatever that might be so but you definitely need to blur out these unblended harsh lines that you that you will definitely get when you use these in the crease other than that these are beautiful to be used on the eyelid you need the tiniest bit and they beautifully blend 
and they and they actually blend beautifully with each other i can actually see the 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 way the turquoise transitions into the red and it's really really pretty to see in person if you ask me and they and like the the I think the best thing about these is that they do blur out your they have these 3d microspheres which helps to fill in all those micro lines that you may have in your eyelid and I think that would be very very useful I haven't used them in my as an eyeliner today but um, when you use these definitely can be used as an eyeliner I they do have like a small um, helpful way how to use this in the product page of Sephora let me just read it to you now um, these can be used alone or as a liner or as a base for your favorite shadow so I think the the fact that it blurs out lines would come in very handy when you use them in the lower part of your eyes where you do have like I have like a fine lines not even fine lines they are in fact deep set lines in the just below my eyes so um so they definitely will not run into the fine lines that you may have and they would actually blur out your lines i think when you use them in the bottom uh, lash line or oh, wherever that is or even in, in, in your uh, what am i saying even on your eyelids anyways so i think these are very very good um i feel that the amount of product that you get is a little bit less but it is in um you know they are very comparable to what uh, you may get in the very popular liquid or cream eyeshadows that you may find in market like i said still offers in fact a little bit less than what uh make forever offers a tiny bit le uh, less point um what is that 0 0.01 fluid ounce less yeah that's little very much less Anyway, so I think, um, and price wise also is very, very similar to Stila or what um, Touch and Soul, the Metalist Glitter Foil eyeshadows offer. They are $25, $24 for very, almost the same amount of product that you get. So they are, you know, in, in range. It, the price range is very similar to these products and these actually are very, very good as well. So um, what else? I think that's it. I think we've covered everything that I wanted to say. Uh, performance wise, these are fantastic. 10 out of 10, I, I would give them. Uh, but uh, the only downside is I just, like I said, I'm repeating myself, but le let me just do it for the very last time. Um, pros, they are beautiful, crease free, budge proof, smudge proof. And they beautifully give you an airbrushed eyeshadow look even in person you don't have to take a picture and you don't have to like um, Photoshop it nothing they look really really pretty in person and they are so vibrant and you have beautiful range of colors now of course I can speak only for the ones that I picked now the like I said the purple one is on, is on the thinner side but it evens it's it, it evens out really well so I do not have to layer them at all but even if you layer them it's very easy to layer them because they do dry down pretty very very quickly so you will have to work quickly with these shadows but they dry down very very quickly and I said these are smudge proof do you see that I think it doesn't move it doesn't go anywhere so yeah and the only downside is if you use them as in the crease you will go through a lot uh, more more product than you expect because you do need like more product uh, to use in your, use them in your crease and blow it out so what else i think that's it guys and yeah it does leave behind harsh lines when if you use them in the crease so you will have to use like a powder eyeshadow like very similar to your skin tone or whatever color that you want to blur out those harsh lines yeah that's it i guess um I think we've come to the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching and please give this video a thumbs up if you liked watching it and please subscribe bye